Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And our topic today is who is Muhammad? Uh, one of you sent me a video saying, look what this guy is saying. <clears throat> and I, I know this video. I saw it a long time ago actually and I made a video about it. Uh, this guy, his name is Khalid Yasin. He want to say something about the Bible. Let us see what it is. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Who were they? Matthew who? Mark who? Luke who? And John who? <laughs> so a Muslim is complaining. Okay, those who wrote the gospel John, Luke, Mark, okay, who are those people, right? I mean, stupidity is amazing. First of all, if you little bit have a little bit knowledge, in the Bible you will see every one of those have the name of his father and who they are. But the question is, where we can find the name of your prophet Muhammad? When you're a prophet, he mentioned the disciple of Jesus. Who are they? Nowhere it says. When the Quran says in chapter 36 that uh, uh, Jesus, he sent disciples, who are they? It doesn't say. The seers say it's Paul. Paul and John and Simon Peter. So when the Muslim, they ask question, do they ask themselves the same question? Our Bible says it clearly who are those people. But where we can find in the Quran, who is Muhammad? If we go in the Quran right now, and we search for the word Muhammad, I will type it in front of you. <clears throat> okay. Let us see what we will find. Chapter 3, verse 114, it says, Muhammad is just a messenger of Allah, and all messengers before him, they pass away. <laughs> Here we find that there is no definition of who is this guy is Muhammad. His name is the praised one. He cannot be a prophet. He must be God then because his name is the praised one. So who is Muhammad? And all the messengers, they die before him. All messengers before him, they pass away. Look at the translation here. So who is Muhammad? Let's, let us see a different verse. Maybe a different verse will tell us who is Muhammad. Chapter 33, verse number 40. Muhammad is not the father of any man of yours. Okay, who is Muhammad? What I learned from this that Muhammad have no children. That's it. Who is the father of Muhammad? Where he's born? The Quran says that Allah he sent Muhammad to the mother of the villages. He sent him to there, so he was not from there. Where he was from? Chapter 47 verse number 2 those who believe etc and work righteousness and those who believe in what sent to Muhammad who is Muhammad nothing those are the few verses Muhammad mentioned in the Quran chapter 48 verse number 29 speaking about killing non-muslims Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those who with him, they are strong, blah, 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 uh, against the kuffar, they will kill them. Hmm. Who is Muhammad? No answer. So, when a Muslim, he asks a question, the first thing you notice that Muslims are not consistent with their own religion when they speak about ours. We knew who is John, 
if you are if you have it the knowledge of about John you will know that he is the brother of James and if you know the father of James you will know the father of John so here we go who is Muhammad if the Muslim they want to say to me we know who is Muhammad from the hadith hold on Muhammad he said don't write hadith and the hadith written by who and the Quran written by who this guy he's saying the Bible written by John Luke Mark okay who are they okay the Quran you have today is written by who you Muslim you claim and you say that Muhammad do not know how to write how to read so it's written by who if you open the first page in the Quran you will find this Quran it says this Quran is written according to this according to this according to this according to this starting from who starting from someone the Muslim accused to be a fraud a thief him and his father Hafs and Asim and Hafs was exist more than 200 years after Muhammad so according to Hafs where is the book of Omar where is the book of Hafsa where is the book of Aisha where is the book of Muhammad where is the book of Abu Bakr where is the book why you need the book of Hafs which is nothing but recitation according to Muslim historian all the Quran is bur burned by Uthman okay Uthman made the Quran where is the Quran because if you have the Quran of Uthman you do not need the recitation of Hafs <laughs> you know what I mean who needs the recitation if we have a book nobody needs recitation if we have the book what recitation I mean at that time there's no recording machine look at this <clears throat> Muhammad said, and this is Sahih Hadith, authentic, don't take down anything from me, and he who took down anything from me except the Quran, he should efface it. So where Muslim they learn about Muhammad? From the Hadith. Muhammad said you should efface it. Which means you have zero information about Muhammad. And how we can trust the hadith if you Muslim don't trust it yourself. You know what I mean? There is nothing about Muhammad. Who is this guy Muhammad? Until now, actually, historian they could not find anything about Muhammad. Nothing. So when they speak about who is John? We open open the Gospel of Math, Matthew, Luke, etc. You will find each one of them explain to you the others about, about the disciple. Who is John? Who is James? Who is Luke? Who is uh, all the names are there? It says even city names. Actually, the Bible is the only book give you even details to like father of father of father of father of father of father. If we ask right now, who is Jesus? You will see, it says all the way to David. Well, who is Muhammad? And look at the stupidity here. Not only hypocrisy. If I ask you right now, who is Abraham in the Quran? Where is Abraham was born? You will find that Ibrahim, as the Quran called him, sometimes call it Abraham, sometimes call it Ibrahim. Don't ask me why, because he's an idiot. You don't know how to, spell, to pronounce it. According to the Quran, Ibrahim, he have a father, his name is Azar. Who is Azar? Since when Ibrahim, his father is Azar. So your prophet even cannot get the name correctly. Because he's a stupid fool, he took the word Azar, which is written in the book he was copying from, which is saying, Abraham, he said to his father, foolish. So what Muhammad, he thought, this is the name of the father of Abraham. The name of the father of Abraham is foolish. How foolish is that? You see that thief Muhammad, he was copying from the book of Waraqa ibn Nufal. Abraham, he said to his father, foolish, Azar is not the name of the father of Abraham, you idiot. He said to him, foolish, do you take idols for God? 
The foolish Muhammad, he thought that Azar, because this is a foreign word, he do not know what it's mean. He thought this is the name of the father of Abraham. So now we have different new Abraham. Mary is the sister of, that she is the daughter of a man. His name is Imran. And this is the same name of the father of Aaron. According to Islam. And the Quran says that Mary is the sister of Aaron. He asked the Muslim how such a mistake happened. He said, no, no, that all days the Prophet said, when a, when a Jewish man, he come to the house of Aisha and he got him busted. He said to her, there is hundreds of years between Musa's and Jesus. <laughs> so Muhammad, he said, oh, at that time, they used to call them by the great ones. What the great ones? First of all, you don't call her sister of Aaron because that is an insult to Aaron. For she is not sister of Aaron. Secondly, you cannot call her the daughter of Aaron because she is not from the tribe of Aaron. Stupidity is amazing. Number three, who is more great, Aaron or Moses? Number four, how the father of Mary in the Quran end to be the same name of the father of Moses and Aaron? To the point, Muhammad, he made a chapter in the Quran, call it the chapter of Al Imran, the family of Imran. The stupid Muhammad, he thinks that Imran, which is supposedly Imran, Muhammad, he cannot even quote the name correctly. He thinks that this is the name of the father of Mary. So when a Muslim, he speak about who is Luke, how decent he is. Who is Muhammad? And then when we check the, the books of the, the Muhammad, and we will find that Muhammad, according to their books, he was born four years after his claimed father death. Have you ever heard of somebody who is born four years after his father death? This is why the Muslim, they believe that a Muslim woman, she can be, or all women, they can have a child even after 10 years of the man die. And actually, we showed you the reference before. You remember? Muhammad, he put nothing there, you see. Most of, there's no proof of anything in the Quran that this is coming from a guy, his name is Muhammad. First, the name Muhammad is wrong. Cannot be, cannot be accurate. Why? Because how a prophet of God, he claimed to be servant of God, he called himself the praised one. The name itself is a blasphemy against God. He's insulting God because the praised one is God, not a man. And then Muhammad, when he when he mentioned that he is mentioned in the old uh, in the in the in the in the New Testament. Look what he said. He said that Isa. He said to the Israeli, a messenger will come after me. His name is Ahmad. So what happened to Muhammad? And by the way, Ahmad cannot be exist in the Hebrew language because there's no letter of Ha, as I know, which means the only letter Jesus said is Ahmad. Ahmad. Your prophet name is Ahmad. Jesus said to the Jews, a letter which is not exist in the alphabet of the Jews. How he called him Ahmad? You guys, are you getting my point? How you can pronounce the name for them as Ahmad when this letter is not exist? And he's speaking to the Jews. And if Jesus was sent to the Jews, as the Muslims they claim, so why he is saying to them, a prophet will come after me, his name is Ahmad. And what happened to Muhammad? So obviously neither Ahmad, neither Muhammad is a name, those are titles. So what is the name of your prophet? Any Muslim know? What is the real name of your prophet? 
He's Ahmad, he's Muhammad, he's Mustafa. I mean, by the way, Muhammad have 99 names. But yet we do not know anything about him. All what you see about the guy whose name is Muhammad is in the Hadith. And Muhammad in the Hadith said it clearly, don't try it any Hadith. But just show you how funny Islam is. <clears throat> I mean, this, those books are written by a bunch of idiots. If Muhammad, he just said to you, don't write anything except the Quran. You write that? I mean, this guy, he just said, don't write anything. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? Don't take down anything from me. And he who took down anything from me except the Quran, he should efface it. How you write it? He just told you don't write it. I mean, do you see the stupidity? It's like I have a student in front of me, and I say to him, don't write in the book, in the Kabi book, anything except the, the Quran. And then he said, write down. KCP, he said, don't write anything. I just told you don't write anything except the Quran, you idiot. I mean, what kind of drugs they are taking? Your master just told you, don't write anything except the Quran. And if you wrote, even in the past, erase it. That's it. They put it there. So what we would do now with all those, I mean, look how much obedience they are to their prophet. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? <clears throat> so when, when the Muslims, the Muhammadan, they complain about the Bible, first of all, I need to ask you about the Bible, not, not, not you ask me. Because this idiot, he forgot that according to his God, it is Allah who sent the Gospel. What is the Gospel then? They will say to you, it's corrupted. So how we can trust Allah? If Allah is the one who sent it, and then you are saying to me, anyone can corrupt the book of Allah. So what is the problem now? The problem is your problem, not my problem. Because now you are saying the book of Allah is corrupted, not my book. So a foolish man like this, he's trying to prove to the Muslim that Allah, he sent the book, and then somebody spank Allah and corrupt the book. And if you can't corrupt the book of Allah, that means you can corrupt the book of Allah. As simple as that. The Quran is one of them. Look, ask the Muslims. How many messenger Allah he sent? They will send to you 124,000 messenger. How many books of Allah is not corrupted? They will say only the Quran. <laughs> okay. So all the books of Allah became shish kebab. How we can trust that the Quran is not corrupted too? Because Allah, he failed. He failed 124,000 times to protect his books. According to Islam, Allah is the biggest loser, the biggest li uh, loser librarian in history. Imagine you give a guy a library, have 124,000 books, and then you go away for some time. You come back, he have only one book in the shelf. Just one. 124,000 books is gone. And you are saying to me that Allah, he preserved his words. How, where? Any Muhammadan? We don't have too many because usually I don't come in this time. But I mean, hypocrisy is amazing. If, if we ask the Muslim right now, okay, I want to ask you the same question. The Quran says Israel. Who is Israel? Have you ever heard of a book speak about a person without introduction? Who is this guy Israel? 
you will see the name Israel. Look, those are in yellow. All is Israel, all over the Quran. Okay, I want to ask any Muslim to tell me who is this guy Israel. There's no answer in the Quran. Nowhere in the Quran it says who is Israel. Oh, children of Israel. Okay, Israel who? Children of Israel. Who is Israel? We don't know. In order to know, you have to go to the Old Testament to know who is Israel. So you are saying to me the Quran cannot be understood unless we go to the book of the Jews and the book of the Christians. Who is Israel? Where we can find who is Israel? Nobody. Nobody knows. Yeah, you are telling me, Jacob, but we understand. I'm saying in the Quran. Let us say I'm a person who became a Muslim. Okay, you are telling me children of Israel. Okay, who is Israel? The Quran mentioned the name Jacob in different place, but nowhere in the Quran it says how Jacob became Israel. And by the way, he got the name wrong too. I mean, as usual. And Abraham exhorted his sons and Jacob, all oh my sons. Okay, how, where, who, Israel is who? Abraham who? Where Abraham was located? If we ask a Muslim, okay, this guy Abraham, he is coming from where? What language he speak? What the word Abraham mean? They don't know. What Jacob mean? They don't know. What Isaac mean? They don't know. What Israel mean? They don't know. If you remember, you will find a guy, his name is Didat. <clears throat> uh, he was making fun of the story of Jacob. How Jacob, how Jacob struggled with the angel of God or with God. But look how stupid they are. The second you accept that his name is Israel, you accepted the story. Because this is what Israel means. <laughs> you know what I mean? They make fun of it. They say, how how, the, how Jacob, he was wrestling with the angel of God. Oh, how is that happening? Yeah, this is funny. So why you call him Israel in the Quran? You know what I mean? But because they are copy-paste nation, the same as their prophet, they are thieves. They do not know what Israel means. By the second, the second you copy the name, you copy the story. Because this is how Jacob, he got his name. He struggled. So they either they are making fun of the story, but they accept the name Israel. When I say stupid, he is amazing. I mean it. It's like saying to me, Santa Claus's story is false. And then you call, you know, you say, and then, and then you say in the Quran, Santa Claus uh, came from the chimney. But you are making fun of it. The second you mention the name Santa Claus, you accept the story. Do you have any question? I just wanted to make this video. I'm not going to stay long because this is not our time really to do a video. Do we have any Muslim here have any complaint? Do we have any Muslim? He don't he complain, he don't like what we said. Anyone? Mary, who is who is Mary? Mary the daughter of Amran. Who is Amran? Since when Mary, she have a father, his name is Amran. Even Muhammad, he got the wrong Jesus. Jesus, who is Je Isa? Who is Isa? Isa who? Not a single book of history name him as Isa. Where Muhammad, he got the name Isa from? I will tell you. Muhammad the stupid, he heard from the Jews that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, 
which is the sister of Musa's, she have a son, his name is Esau. So he said, oh, this is Esau, the son of Mary. <laughs> because he thought this is the same Mary or Maryam, which is the sister of Aaron, is the same as the mother of Asa or Jesus, supposedly. This is what happened to you when you are a fraud. Anyone? <clears throat> Any Muslim is you have a complaint or something? Not a single name in the Quran, either it is not accurate or we cannot we cannot define who is he. Okay, Musa's who is Musa's? Musa's. We heard the guy saying who is Luke. Okay, who is more important now as a character? A prophet of God? His name is Moses or Luke. Tell me who is Moses. Here we go. We have the whole Quran. Who is this guy Moses? What Moses mean? They don't know. Where is Musa was? Where where he born? Who is his father? Nothing. Noah. Who is Noah? Salih, there's, an, there's a prophet, his name is, a, is, is good. his name is Salih, which means good. I mean, who is Salih? We don't know. Or who is the camel? Where, where did this guy was exist? We don't know. Nothing in the Quran. The Quran is a stupid book. There's nothing there. So this guy is complaining about something he himself he have in his book, not in our book. If you go in the Bible, you will see, you know, they tell you this guy, the son of 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 this guy, the son, the son, the son, the son. You go all the way to Adam. All the way to, to Adam. Okay, Adam, he have children. Can you name them for me from the Quran? Muslims? Noah, he have a children. Can you name them for me from the Quran? Nothing. Zulqarnain, who is Zulqarnain, this guy? I mean, have you ever heard of a person is named the guy with the two horn? Muhammad, he saw this man in the in the Halloween day. What Qurnayn? Chapter 18, verse number 83. Who is this guy? Where he was? Where he located? What time he lived? And say, and they ask you about Zul Qurnayn. Who in the world, his name is Zul Qurnayn? Have you ever... He don't have a name. Zul in Arabic means the one with. Qurnayn means two horn. I mean, have you ever heard of a person, his name, the guy with the two horn? Why, he was a cow? Who is this guy? Where he live? What his language? Nothing. And why you are telling me his story? His story is, the, by the way, the chapter 18 is the most hilarious chapter ever in the Quran. This chapter alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. And in case you do not know, how, how the Muslim explain that this guy, his name is the guy with the two horn. Qarnayn mean two horn. Qarn mean one horn. Qarnayn, two horn. Okay. How his name is two, how, how he got the name, you go to the interpretation, you will find it says that this guy, he was a believer. He came to his people and he told them to believe in Allah. So they beat him up and they hit him with the hammer in his head. And then, boing, he got the first horn and he died. And then Allah, he rose him back and he sent him again to them. And again, he told them to believe in Allah. So they hit him again in his head and boing, he got the second horn. I mean, who in the world wanna believe in such a garbage? You hit the guy in his head with the hammer, he got a horn. 
So what? He became look like a Satan now. The guy with the two horn. How a guy with two horn is a prophet of Allah? And look, Muhammad he confirmed in the hadith that Shaitan he have two horn. Let me show you. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Look how many! All of them the same, the same. Ah, this one is not translated. You see, all of them, they are the same, the same. And here it says, Qarnay as shaitan the two horn, between the horn of shaitan Between the two what? Between the horn of shaitan The two horn of shaitan So, shaitan he have two horn in his head, according to Islam. And Zul Qarnayn, he have two horn too. Any Muslim? The fact is that there is an, uh, a, a Christian, he is, his name is ya Yaqub, as I remember. He is from Syria. He wrote a story, a, no, a novel, you know, fiction story about Zul Qurnayn. He was speaking about Alexander the Great. And he called him Zul Qurnayn, the man with the two horn, because the Roman, the king, he used to wear such a hat in the time of war. And people believe that he went, he occupied the whole earth. And Muhammad, he copied the story, he put in his book, he believed that this is a true story. But this is a fiction story. Exactly the same details in that book. He found where the sun set, he found it sitting in murky water. Exactly the same story. He keep going, keep going, enter, he found where the sun set. Enter when he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in a murky spring. <laughs> so the Muslim is upset because he want to know who is Luke. But he don't want to know how in the world he found it, you see, and the, they say to you, you know, brother, if you go, you see the sun sitting in the ocean, you think it's going down in the ocean. Abdul, it doesn't say ocean, it says a spring. Since when the ocean is a spring? Do you see the word spring? Hmm? The, the, and here the one is talking is Allah. They are asking you about Zulkarnain. Okay, I will tell you some about him. Who is talking to Allah? Read carefully. And they ask you about Zulkarnain. Say, I will tell you something about him. Who is talking to Allah? We establish him in the earth. He pursued in the earth. And then he keep going until he found the sun sitting in murky water. Uh, until now, Allah is talking. Not the Qur'an he found, like he, he imagined. It says he found it. He found. When you repeat, when you report a find, this is a fact, not an imaginary. There's no last name for Muhammad. You know what last name? According to the, uh, uh, the uh, like history books, which is written by Muslims, his last name is Kilab, which means dogs. But there's no proof of any of that. There's no proof that Muhammad even is a real person. We don't know. Who is this guy, Muhammad? What do we know about him? Nothing. If you are asking us to tell you who is John from the Bible, we will tell you. He is the brother of James, the son of Zabadi. Who is Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? We don't know. 
Why, why in the Quran? Why in the Quran it says that Jesus is son of Mary, but doesn't say Muhammad son of who? Why it's important to say that Jesus is the son of Mary, but it's not important to say who is Muhammad? P. Canoro inviting me for a debate. Who is this Canoro? Is a bird? The one who want to invite me, he do not. The one who want to debate me, he do not need to invite me. He just call me. I mean, those Muslims are the most hilarious cowards. They want to debate me, but they don't call me. So they make a video says, I invite you for debating me. You talk to yourself. <laughs> you do not need even to tell me who you are. I don't care. You are big, you are small, you are shake, you are potato, tomato. I don't care. Prove me wrong. All those challenge you and challenge me. This is kids talk. How many times today I open my Skype? Anyone can call me. And you are my witness. The one who want to really debate me, he do not need to say I want to debate you. Just call me. Why I don't debate it prop, uh, properly? What properly? Since when you must debate it properly? And what properly mean? You can talk, I can talk. It's an open mic. It's an open mic. What properly mean? And since when you Muslim talk about debating, by the way, because it's the Quran forbid you from debating, here we go. When the Christian, they came to Muhammad to debate him, look what Muhammad said to them, let us have a cursing party. You Muslim even don't care for what Muhammad taught you. The Quran say clearly when the Christian, they came to debate Muhammad, he told them, listen, listen, okay, listen, Bring your kids, I bring my kids. Bring your wives, I bring my wives. Bring your chicken, I bring my chicken. Bring your goat, I bring my goat. Let us invoke curse on the one is lying. This is your debate. Are you going to do better than Muhammad? This is your prophet. And by the way, the stupid Muhammad, he was challenging the monks to bring their children. They are monks. Since when monks, they have children? Since when they have wives? Monks, they have wives and children? When anyone, you see the Caliphate, Omar, when somebody start asking a question about the Quran, do you know what he did? He start beating him with a, with a piece of wood have nails. Until the guy almost died. And he swear after that by Allah he will never ask any question about the Quran. <clears throat> Anyone? <coughs> Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? You know, the Muslim, they debate properly to the point you cannot say what I am saying in the Middle East. Can I debate you in the Middle East properly? You will kill me there. I mean, do you, look who's talking. Look who is talking about properly. Islam is so nice to the point nobody debate about Islam unless he is abroad. You know why? Because you don't believe in what you are saying. You are a liar. Uh, Muhammad Bas, he just said the following, just to show you that, you know, the second you are a Muslim, you are suffering from low IQ. Look what he just said. Look, 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 let me show you. Prove that the Bible is not corrupt. Why I prove that to you? Actually, I'm going to prove the opposite for you, that the Bible of Allah is corrupted. And that will prove to us that the whole story in the Quran is a lie. Isn't it Allah in the Quran says he sent the book is called Injil? And you are asking me about the Injil, which is sent by Allah. Well, thank you very much. 
Prove to me that Allah is not a fool to the point he sent an Injil and then he, you are saying to me, you are his follower. <laughs> and you are saying to me, the book which Allah he sent is corrupted. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? Those Muhammadan, they are trying to convince you that the books which Allah he sent are corrupted. I agree. All the books of Allah is a scam. And you are asking me to prove it to you. How stupid you are. Literally, how stupid you are. You are asking a Christian to prove to you that the book which Allah sent is corrupted. Can I say how stupid you are or I cannot? You tell me. You just told me that your God is a potato. Injil was sent to Isa, not to humanity. Guys, the Injil was sent to Isa, not to humanity. <laughs> you stupid idiot, it says here, as a guidance for mankind. Do you see it? Do you see it? You are making fun of your Quran. It's in front of you. It says the gospel as a guidance for mankind. And you just said the book, Allah, he said the book only for Isa, guys. Isa only you. This is your index. This is your yellow pages. No one else can read it. <laughs> as they say in China, he left as a donkey. He never came back as a horse. And this is the reason they don't dare to debate me because their IQ is so slow. My IQ is faster than any computer Allah he have. Before even he open his mouth, I will spank him. You are like Sleepy Joe comparing to me, you know? Like imagine Sleepy Joe debating me. Hmm? Sleepy Muhammad. Sleepy Allah. Allah, he sent the gospel, Allah sent the Torah, Allah sent Abraham, all the books are gone. He sent David, he sent Solomon. That, well, you see, the Quran have time to tell us about Solomon walking in the valley of the ants. B brother, where we can find the valley of the ants? Is that like a state of California? The valley of the ants? Really? Is that like an independent state of ants? So Allah have time to tell us all those stupid story about ants. She told the ant to hide unless Solomon will crush you. Question. What this story is about? I mean, what we learn from this story? Allah, he taught Suleiman how to understand the language of the birds. So how he understand the language of the ants? Look, read with me. And Solomon succeeded David. He said, O oh people, we were taught the language of birds. And then, two verses after, we find that he is understanding the ants. Brother Sitar, my name is the Captain Prince, and I speak Urdu. And I learn Urdu. And then when the chicken is big, I can I can understand the chicken. But you learn Urdu. What the Urdu had to do with the language of the chicken? So this guy is the opposite. He learned the language of the chicken, but he understands the ants. And by the way, ants don't talk. They communicate. They communicate either by chemical or vibration. How he heard her? It says he heard her speech. Read carefully. He, sm he smiled and laughed at her words. Her words. The ant, she said words. If we ask Zakir Naik how the ant became a word speaking person, he will say to you, they will say the following. Brother Sitter, it's been true and proven scientifically that there's some kind of ant that speaks language with it. But as uh, Zakir, ants are deaf and, you know, mute. They cannot hear. They cannot talk. So how they speak words? Christian Prince, it's proven that there are people who cannot read and write, yet they can pronounce words. 
Exactly, they are people, they have tongue. This is an ant, she don't have one, man. And how here, even those, what, what are you talking about? Hmm. Any Muslim? So Allah have time to tell us about the ants and the ant, she told the ant to hide. And by the way, what is killing me in the story is this, how in the world the ant, she knew the name of Solomon? The ant, she told the ant, hide because Solomon is coming. So she knew his name. Look like the ant, she understand the language of Solomon, not the opposite. Oh boy. If you read the next sentence, he will be destroyed. What next sentence? Guys, what next sentence? Where, where, which, where, where, where which, which sentence? Tell me how I'm showing everything in the screen. What sentence you want me to read? What sentence? Destroy me, please. Hmm. Fairy tale stories. This is a story you can op you can search right now in Google for a book. It's called The Legion of the Jews, and you will find that those stories that the Jews they tell to their children about the glorious Solomon. He have a flying carpet. He have a flying horse. He have etc. Muhammad he copied the stories. He put it in his book. He 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 believed that those are true stories. <coughs> About the angel of Asa, what about it? What about it? Here we go. Let us go back to the angel of Asa. This guy, obviously, he do not know how to read, like he's a prophet. After a time, as a guidance, and then after that, and he sent the Quran or the Furqan to the, to the Muslim, but he's talking about the gospel until now. So what read after that? Stupidity is amazing. So Allah, he sent the gospel. Isn't it the Quran says Allah, he sent Isa to the Jews and Musa to the Jews. And you are telling me that this is a book was sent only for him? <laughs> Not a single Muslim, by the way, agree what this guy is saying. They are kids. They are just a bunch of kids. Any Muhammadan? You know, when they come to, to, to argue with me here, it's like somebody, he have his finger in his nose trying to search for boogers. And he got big ones. And he tried to throw them at us. Do you know that Jesus was Abdullah? Guys, Jesus is Abdullah. Do you know, guys? Jesus, he worship in the floor like Muslims. Why you don't say that you Muslim try to worship like Jesus? <laughs> who came? Per who came first? <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. And secondly, you don't worship in the floor. The Jews, when they pray, my friend, they lay down in their face. They don't bow down. The one who bow down is the Buddha. Go ask anyone who live in Asia. You can enter right now to any temple of the Buddhas and you will see you are praying exactly like the Buddhist. When the Jews, they pray, they lay down in their face on the floor. This is why the Catholic monks, they do the same. Again, stupidity is amazing. Anyone? Last call, any Muslim? <clears throat> and look, he will not tell me how in the world Solomon, he understand the language of the, of the ants when the ants don't talk. 
the ants either they vibrate or they leave chemicals as a communication all all creatures they communicate all creatures there's no doubt about it but the quran say clearly he he, he smile laughing at her speech in arabic it says liha قول is statement you said. He laughed, he smiled at her speech, her words. <coughs> CP, it says Allah taught Suleiman as, okay, all things, this is why. Uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. No, it doesn't, he did not taught Suleiman all things. He said it clearly. What language he taught him? He said, we taught him the language of the birds. Read carefully. And then we gave him from everything. This is about his power. Go out, read the interpretation. His kingdom, the ring. <laughs> don't tell me, don't remind me of the ring, please. The flying carpet, the army, the chicken army. And by the way, here, this is about, later we will find that uh, uh, Suleiman, he have a general. His name is a hoodhood. Read carefully. Then he inspected the birds because Suleiman have an army of birds, chickens. Why don't I see the hoopoo? Uh -huh. Who is Mr. Hoopoo? Among is he among the abstinence? Mahmoud, you want to bet? You want to call me and I will show you the interpretation? What do you think? Is that fair, guys? Mahmoud saying something. I am saying something. The proof is he called me, speak life. We open the interpretation of his choice. Either people laugh at me or laugh at him. What do you think? Not what I say, not what you say, what your scholars say. Not Christian scholars, not Jewish scholars, your scholars. Do you agree? Either the scholars agree with me. And that make you a joke. All the scholars agree with you, and that will make me a joke. What do you think? Do you want to call? You will not. Potato, 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 I like to dip the skin, I like to dip it in, I like to fry it all. Da 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 do, da 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 da. Okay. Anyway, a bunch of kids. I don't need the scholars. That's deep. This guy, he did hit me in the heart. He did not need a scholar. He is the scholar. <laughs> Hello? He do not need the scholar. Why he need the scholar? He knew what the Quran mean. He do not need the scholar. How embarrassing. Oh boy. <clears throat> You're right, who need the scholars? I mean, all of you Muslims are scholars. Mimi Hijab, he says Allah don't have hands. Fifi, he say he have hands. Uh, I mean, each one of you, he have his own religion. <laughs> Even if you don't agree, I mean, they lie to defend their God, Muhammad, to the point Islam became a joke. To the point, every one of them, he gave you a different opinion who is Allah. Hmm. All right. Do we have any believer? Any Muslim believer? So what we learn from this? Quran, nothing. I mean, Quran is just a waste of time. Stupid stories. Suleiman, he have a flying carpet. Suleiman, go in the valley of the ants. 
by the way I'm, I'm thinking to like I want to change my car this is a project I need to work in after I get enough money and uh, I want to go to the value of the ants because the car I have right now it doesn't go there I mean I'm telling you the ants will eat the life <laughs> I need this I need a special car which can fit for the value of the ants oh, there's ants only in that valley only there The value of the end. Look what this verse is saying. To the service of Suleiman, we will mobilize his troops. Eh? And the translation is false. It says the spirit. This, anyway, this is a translation of which donkey? How in the world he would the word spirit? It says genie, you idiot. How the genie became a spirit? Change it, change it. No oh way. And then we gather before Suleiman, his host of jinns, his troops, his army of jinn and men and birds. Birds? This guy, he have an army of birds? You see, I will let it go with the genie. I will let it go with the human. But he have an army of birds? Okay, and who, what kind of birds they are? Let us see. He inspected the birds. He said, where is the hoopoo? Let us see the army of Suleiman. Search Google for this word. Let us see what it is. Uh oh, ah, that makes sense. I mean, he have a long beak. He can use it. And by the way, look, he looked like a general, to be honest with you. This guy, he looked, this is why Muhammad, he chose him to be a general in the army of Suleiman. Look, 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 he's a Roman. He's like a Roman uh, general, man. Look at this. No, I was wondering why he have those. This is a rank. He has, he has a big general in the army of Suleiman. Who can beat that? And I was like wondering when I was a kid, I mean, why this bird he have those things and he looked like a Roman, you know, like me. But after you the Quran, it became clear like the sun. It's obvious. Yeah, this is the hood hood. This is Mr. Hood hood. And look here, Mr. Hood hood is looking at his army like left and right, you know. So. <clears throat> Suleiman, he checked the army, which army of birds, and he found the hood hood, Mr. Hood hood missing. Like, what the heck? And by the way, here, Mr. Hood hood was discussing the plan of attacking the neighbors. Because remember, he's general in the army of Solomon. Here, Mr. Hood hood is killing the lizard, as you know. Prophet of Allah, he said, the one who killed the lizard, Allah will give him so and so reward. <clears throat> Correct? Did you fail your parents? Hey, hey, Mahmoud, I don't like stupid talk. The second you start talking about my parents, I will send you free shipping and handing to Allah. Respect your parents. Respect your parents. What your parents and my parents have to do with this? Why you Muslims are so low? Why you want to insult my parents so I will insult your parents? Respect your parents. Be a man. Speak like a man. Can you? Did you fail your parents? What had to do with my parents? No, I never failed my parents. Your father, Muhammad, he failed his parents. He claimed that his father will go to hell. Are you, your parents, happy? at your life choice yeah my parents are very happy at my life choice what's wrong with my life choice let me send you free uh, handling shipping and handling to allah is your parents happy about your life choice? maybe my parents are dead you stupid what's wrong with you donkey no shame they cannot answer the stupidity in their book so they change the topic is your parents why i'm doing drugs like your prophet I'm promising people if you do jihad, you will get women have no panty. 
Why I'm going to night clubs like Kim the Korean? Why I'm raving women? Why they will not be uh, happy with, with me? I made tens of thousands of Muslims leave Islam. And I assure you, your wife, she have, she wished to have a son like me from you. But eh, you are the father. How you will have a son like me? It's impossible. Because the son will be the same as the father. Garbage in, garbage out. Any Muhammadan? Yeah, they change the topic in the speed of light. I mean, it's embarrassing. Look at this. Do you, guys, do you know that Muhammad, he says, the one who killed the lizard, Allah will reward him. Why? Because Muhammad, he claimed that when they tried to burn Suleiman, uh, 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 all animals in the world, they tried to stop the fire except Mr. Lizard. Are you sure, Muhammad? Yes, brother. Let me show you the story. Hold on. Have you ever heard of a religion target lizard and consider them the enemy of Allah? <laughs> Mr. Geigo. Geigo? The Prophet of Allah, he ordered to kill the Geigo. <laughs> Why he ordered to kill that guy go? <laughs> Read carefully the story. Here we go. History is written, brother. History, this is history. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. We cannot deny that. Okay. Allah Apostle, he ordered uh, that the salamander should be killed. And he said it, i.e. salamander, blow the fire at Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> Salamander, how you do? Everybody angry from you. You're trying to burn Abraham. Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Hey, Salamander, how do you do? If I see you, I shoot you. Salamander, you are the enemy of Allah. Everybody let us attack and say, Inshallah. We are going to kill Mr. Salamander, for he is the enemy of Allah. I mean, what is this, man? What is this? That is knowledge. That is life. That is religion. That is God. I mean, there is no way Muhammad is not a fool. Muhammad, I mean, not a smart genius. Hmm. Salamander. And now we understand why the hoodhood is getting the salamander in his mouth. Look at this, he is doing jihad for Allah. Alhamdulillah. In different hadith, Muhammad he said, the one who killed him from the first hit, he gave him Allah, he gave him like a lot of reward. The one who killed him from the second hit, like half reward. And then the one who killed him from the third hit, like so and so reward, which means less than the second and the first. Me. That's so good to be true. Tomorrow I'm going to make a hunting trip, a trip for the... By the way, do you know that those animals, they are very helpful to control the insects, the environment around your houses? If you have those lizards, and those, and never kill them, don't kill them. They clean your house. They save your children from spiders, from bad insects. They are very useful. They are exist, they are created by God for a reason. Have you ever heard of somebody was killed by a lizard? And Salamander, he blew air at Suleiman. And hold on, by the way, here, there's something. I, I, no, I, I'm going to finish with this one because, I mean, it's not the time for us to be here. And not too many. We have only 700 people. Anyone notice here something stupid in this story? Additional the stupidity of the whole story. But look what Muhammad said. That in his time, 1400 years ago, 
he's ordered them to kill the salamander. Why? Because the salamander, he blow wind at Abraham. Okay, hold on. Isn't it you Muslim, you say, so why Jesus, he have to die for our sin? It's not fair, he is not the one who did the sin. Okay, hold on. Mr. Salamander, the grandfather is the one who did that. Why you are killing his babies? <laughs> I hate you all. Unbelievable. I mean, how you Muslim you say this is not fair? How why you wanna kill his babies if the grand 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 and by the way is Salamander here is Adam like he like we have Adam for a human. This Salamander was the father of all all uh, all, 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 all lizard. <laughs> uh You Muslim, you made my throat dry <clears throat> from laughing at your prophet. Even it's cold outside, but I'm sweating from laughing. Each time I start talking about Muhammad, I turn the fan on. Even it's cold outside. Unbelievable. You have to sweat from laughing. I mean, that's that's crazy. Salamander, he did blow. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, we have to be honest here. Let me show you something. I mean, whatever those Christians they say about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they are lying, brother. Let me show you something about Salamander so you can notice with me what, why the Prophet, he said that. Man, look at the Salamander. Brother, this Salamander is very dangerous. He was a threat to Prophet Solomon. Sorry, to Prophet Abraham. He want to kill him by blowing wind. I mean, do you see how big his mouth? And how much wind he can blow? That's so scary. <laughs> Salamander. I cannot call Zach and Nick. Zach and Nick now he is, you know, doing that. He's praying to Allah. If I call him, ta -da 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 -da. Oh, he's calling. <laughs> Great and breath. It's very well known that Salamander is very dangerous. What, what, what? Very dangerous. Uh, Salamander is very dangerous. Exactly. And don't correct me, Pete. Your English is funny. You cannot understand English, you cannot understand Arabic. But how in the world this little tiny thing was able to blow wind to make fire to burn Abraham? How he was able to do it? Do you think he have like air bomb? Great friend. Salamander at the time of the Prophet Abraham, they would be very different. You never heard of the Dinathor? What you heard about? Dinathor. Uh, yeah, Dinathor. So, Dinathor, you know, but by the time he became small. Ah, he was big before. Man. What the hell? Don't you think this is like he shrank too much? <laughs> Oh Lord have mercy. Oh. I don't know how many of you are going to convert to Islam, but you better do it before it's too late. Otherwise, Salamander will take all over our, our, our universe and our earth, and we will not let that happen. We will not let Salamander take over. Death to Salamander. Takbir. Hmm. <clears throat> يحكوا محمد كان بيعرفش المسيحيين الأصليين تندرا أوكي كان بيعرفش كان بيعرفش حاجة هذا خرفان هذا جاهد ما شافش حاجة هذا أني محمدا I mean all those stories are true man I mean this is this is not fiction it's not yeah, yeah. <coughs> Geiger, Mr. Geiger. Actually, Salamander is not correct translation. I think Geiger will fit better. See Geiger? What he call it, look what he call it. A noxious little creature. <laughs> 
Let us see how the guy go look like. Dragon. You know, if I became president, I will give a guy go to every citizen. <whistles> look at this. Now we can understand why he is so dangerous. Look at this, guys. Me. This is what happened to people when they see me first time in the seminar. I say sit down, nobody listen. Like sit down, sit down. It's okay. The God, He made me like this. What I can do? Please sit down. Nobody listening. Nobody is talking. People freeze. Like look what happened to this guy. Go. He must saw Christian Prince in person. So this guy is the one. Look at this man. Look at this. Unbelievable. And here, his mouth is open. Oh boy. Okay, we have to do Photoshop so the Christian, they will not make fun of us. So, hold on. Do you see something red in his mouth? You see it, don't you see it? Be honest with me. Okay, now we will add fire coming from his mouth. Ooh. Ah, fire. Now we can post it and we can say this is a true story by the help of Allah. Alhamdulillah. What do you think? True story. I mean, who can laugh at this? Nobody. I mean, this, uh, the Mr. Lizard was blowing wind at, uh, at uh, Abraham and he is trying to kill him. Huh. But, you know, Abraham, thank God, he have a, you know, a fire distinguished, like, you know, you put it down, you know, put the fire down. True story. We cannot argue about those stories. They must be true. And you know, those, those, uh, those, those, uh, this uh, guy go, he's very fishy. All, all my life, I know that they are fishy. You know, like, you know, when you, when you meet your first time, look how they look at you. Do you know what you're thinking? Do you know what you're thinking? He's saying, burn him, don't burn him, burn him, don't burn him, burn him, don't burn him, burn him, don't burn him. Burn him. Uh, no, don't burn him. You know? So like he's now looking at you saying, like, should I burn him or not burn him? Bur you know? And he will burn you for sure if your name is Abraham, by the way. Just just change your name, make it Abraham. Or if your name is Abraham, and go there, you will see right away. We'll because he burned Abraham only. If your name like Ahmad or, you know, you're, you're fine. But if your name is Abraham, man, you're, you're, you're barbecue. He will be alarmed. And look, after he burn you, he will laugh at you. Look at this. I got you busted. I got you busted. Taka 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 taka. You know? <clears throat> I mean, who can deny this? This is science, brother. This is science. This is, this is true. All right? Only ignorant people can deny those things. The proven scientifically to be true. You know? And by the way, he will not burn your hand unless your name is Abraham too. <laughs> True story. Okay, anyway, I, I hope that's all of you. You will uh, listen carefully and, uh, uh, you know, believe in Allah and, uh, you know, you convert to Islam and then you go around the Kaaba and you kiss the black stone and then your sin is forgiven and then you go to heaven and get ready for boom boom. The end of the story. <clears throat> hmm? The summaries of Islam. Kill a lizard. Some Jews, some Christians. Do some, you know, and then go to heaven, boom, boom. Spend your life, just uh, sharpen your private part and keep doing, keep going. And you eat, uh, uh, by the way, in the heaven of Allah, there's no lobster, there's no shrimp. Only bird meat. The diet of Allah and the open buffet of Allah is only bread meats. Anyway, we better stop here, otherwise the comedy is is, is endless. Uh, guys, what do you think about this time? Is it a good time or the early morning is better? I think this is a good time, isn't it? <clears throat> hmm? What time is better? 
And I'm why, why I'm asking you, you know, we are Arab, we don't take a vote. Because if you make a vote, we would do the opposite anyway. <laughs> this time is good? Really? Maybe this time is good for people who they are in USA and, you know. But we should make it for you know, like uh, some some in the morning so people in Asia can. But actually even now in Asia, they can be here too. Because it's uh, morning for them. Right? It is too early in India? My friend, don't worry. Allah, he come down every third part of the night because we have one time zoom according to Allah. <laughs> <clears throat> Talk about Richard McKinney, an American veteran Muslim. I don't know who is Richard McKinney, who is that? And how an American veteran Muslim, how that can be? You cannot be a Muslim and veteran. Because the second you join the army of non-Muslim, you are not a Muslim no more. The Quran, chapter 5, verse number 51. So whoever he claimed that he is a Muslim and he is veteran, he is not being honest. For the Quran say clearly, in chapter 5, verse 51, Whoever take them as a friend or protector, he is one of them, not of us. And this is the verse in the front of you. <clears throat> he is one of what? One of them. Who? The Christians and the Jews. So if anyone he claimed to be a Muslim and he is a veteran, yes, he was a veteran, can be true, but he is not a Muslim anymore. In Germany, it's 4 a.m. My friend, I mean, why you don't do the same as we do in the Middle East? In the Middle East, we have full control of time. Just to change the time in your phone or your watch, and everything will be fine. Are you getting my point, brother? Why you people don't be smart like us, the Arab? We are the smartest people in the world. Change the time, it's so easy. So now you are saying it's too late for you or too early. Why you change your watch instead of making it 4 a.m., make it 4 p.m. So easy. Crazy people, what I can do for them? We can't advise them. You know, we are the Arab, we are trying to help everybody, but nobody's listening. <clears throat> I feel sorry for you, all of you, you are not Arab like us, you know? We, by the way, even Shakespeare is one of us. His name is real name is Shakespeare. <laughs> You should see Al Qazafi when he said, uh, Shakespeare, Shakespeare, his real name is not Shakespeare, his real name is Shakespeare. And the word democracy is not democracy, it's democracy. Anyone who speaks Libyan, he understands what I'm saying. So Al Qazafi was speaking in front of tens of thousands of Muslims. You know, they made him the king of Africa because of the money he paid. <laughs> And he was telling them that the word democracy is coming from Arabic, from the word bring the chairs. <laughs> oh. uh. Yeah, anyway. Anyone, uh, anyone have a question? Do we have any Muslim have any complaint? Anyway, if you are a Muslim, you have the right to remain silence. Otherwise, anything you say is going to be used against you. As you know, you are talking to Christian friends. <clears throat> Actually, I'm thinking in a few months from now, I'm serious. I'm thinking a few months of now, I'm going to go in a, like a, in a trip. And I will go through on my trip in the Valley of the Ends. And I will take videos and post. And I will become a YouTuber blogger. Uh, but in the same time, I will make my YouTube for uh, to be like to serve what I do. You know what I mean? Uh, I think this is a good idea. I'm sick from sitting behind the computer. To be honest with you, I want to travel for some time, and this Corona makes me sick. You cannot go anywhere. The funny, you cannot go anywhere. But then they put you in an airplane, and they set you in the airport. Keep social distancing. You go inside the airplane, and you find yourself like a piece of sardine inside the sardine box. What a stupid system. <clears throat> I get you, Tendra. I get you. I get you, my friend. Yeah, there's the Christians in the Quran. They are the Christians. They are called Nasara. We are not Nasara. Who is Muhammad? Nobody knows. Who ask me? I have no idea. 
If you read my book, I have all the reference to prove that Muhammad cannot be the, the, the son of the one they claim. His name is Abdullah. In Arabic, anyone is unknown, we call him Abdullah. Any unknown person, we call him slave of Allah. So Muhammad is a son of a slave of Allah, which means unknown. This is why his family, they cast him out of their houses. No, no woman, she want to nurse him. I mean, remember, he, Muhammad, he is, he is a son of a tribe, supposedly. Not a single woman, she can nurse him? All of them, they have babies. Why do they want to send him away from the city? Because this is not their son. Otherwise, nobody sent his, his child away. <clears throat> uh, Kevin, show you what? What do you mean? What do you want to show you? Why you don't show me the opposite of what you are saying, Kevin? Show me something to prove to me Islam is from God. <clears throat> One, you can prove that the hadith is necessarily for Islam. For sure, we can prove it so easy. It's extremely easy. Uh, everything Muslim they practice is in the hadith. As an example, we just mentioned that where the name of Muhammad, son of Abdullah, is coming from? Not from the hadith. How to know who's Muhammad? From the hadith. How to know who's Abraham? From the hadith. How to know who's Musa? Is from the hadith. So, if we say we do not need the hadith, there's nothing in the Quran. You know what I mean? How to know Abu Bakr and Omar? Who is Abu, who is Omar? Who is Abu Bakr? From the hadith. The Quran never said Abu, Abu Bakr and Omar and Uthman. So, when they say we do not need them, they are fooling themselves. Because all the names, the Muslims, they, are, they keep repeating, it is exist in the hadith only, not in the Quran. <clears throat> Are you getting my point? So, uh, Kevin, my friend, I don't know how I can help you. You need, to, you need to help me too. I can say from the first page to the last page of the Quran is stupid. The first page to the last page of the Quran is stupid. Women have a sperm, man have a sperm coming from his backbone, women have a sperm coming from the ribs. The sperm became a congealed blood. The God who do not know, he don't remember which one he created first, the stars or the mountains or the trees. Have you ever heard of a prophet or God you don't remember? Everything is wrong. If you open the first page in the Quran, you will find that it doesn't make sense. Read with me. This is the first page in the Quran. In the name of Allah, Allah saying in the name of Allah. Have you ever heard of a stupid state? Imagine Trump, he go in the stage, he say in the name of Trump. How many people will laugh at him? You know what I mean? How you are Allah, and then you say in the name of Allah. And then how you are Allah, and then say, praise be to Allah. Thank you, Allah. Obviously, this is a prayer written by a man to his God. There's no way God is saying this. You see, if the chapter says in the beginning, say, then I will say, okay, it says, say. No, it says that. They asked Jesus how to pray. He said to them, say like this, our Father out of heaven. Here, what we see in the name of Allah. Who is Allah? If the one is saying in the name of Allah, or the one who is making Quran saying in the name of Allah. So which Allah we are talking about? Allah is saying in the name of Allah? And then Allah, he says, Praise be to Allah and thanks to Allah. And then Allah, he says, that he is the most beneficent, the most merciful. And then after two seconds, he repeats again the same thing. The most beneficent, most merciful. This is stupid.
I just said that. I just said the most beneficent, the most merciful. Why am I repeating the same thing? Because I have nothing to say. And then Allah, he says, only you we worship. <clears throat> he, you know, like, yeah, you know, the, 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 but this is a different story about Muhammad licking fingers and etc. We don't want to go there now. So what do you think, Kevin? What do you think? I will not take calls today, I mean now, maybe in the morning, when I roll in the morning. Yeah, I'm not in Skype right now. I don't feel like taking calls. Do we have any Muslim? Vernet, that's are in doubt in the Bible, John 7, 5, 3. Can you show me example of the Quran? I don't, I don't know what you mean. What, is, what does that mean? <clears throat> what John chapter 7 have to do with this? And what 53? What 53, 8, 8 11? What does that mean? <clears throat> Anybody understand? John 7, 53, what is that? <clears throat> I'm not understanding your question. <clears throat> Everything in the Quran does not make sense. Nothing there makes sense. We have a guy here, his name is Arnold. He said he knew my name. Arnold, why you don't tell the people my name, the one you gave me in, in Skype? Why you don't do that? <coughs> Brother, get back to me soon. <laughs> so, Kevin, are you there, my friend? Are you there? Everything in the Quran is really literally stupid. From the first page to the second page to the third, to the point you can now choose any page you want in the Quran and I will show you how stupid it is. What do you think, Kevin? Actually, how in the world anyone accept to be a Muslim for a second? Because nothing in the Quran makes sense. Can you name for me, Kevin, one thing in the Quran makes sense? Just one? You see, I don't know what the word variant mean. Let me let me see. To be honest with you, I'm just trying. I'm going to try to search for the mean of the word. <clears throat> I don't know what you mean by that word. <coughs> As you know, English is not my first language. So a form of ver version of something that differs some respect from other form or standards. W w what do I Still, I don't understand. Oh, the Quran. The Quran okay, I think I get you. 
I think you are saying a different version of the Quran. The Quran have 900 way of reciting or, re or reading. 900 way. The Hadith agreed that there is seven Quran. The Hadith itself agree there is seven Quran. And Muhammad said clearly when he spoke to his the angel asking Allah to send seven Quran that my people are not capable of doing it. <clears throat> so the Quran itself agree that there is seven Quran. Where is the seven Quran? And why we need seven Quran? Why we need seven Quran? Can you tell me, can you tell me, Kevin? Seven Quran, and why the Muslims are not capable of doing it? How the Muslim today, they say to us, one Quran is enough, and we recite one Quran, all of us, and Muhammad saying that one Quran is not enough. What do you think? This is Muhammad himself saying, my people are not capable of doing it. <clears throat> are you there? And you know, for me, I don't really care about how many Quran there is, because one Quran or ten Quran, all of them they are stupid at the end of the day. Does it really make a difference, Kevin? Actually, it's not for my benefit to say there's many Quran, because then the Muslim they will say, okay, this is not a true Quran, so we have other Quran, it's just a true one, they can get away with it. So the Muslim they say, this is the only Quran they knew, okay, no problem. The Quran you have is a stupid book. You know what I mean? Anything else, Mr. Kevin? See, the Quran itself says, if this book is not from Allah, which means he meant not from God, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. Okay, so the Quran put the standard for us to know which book is the book of God. And the funny, the Muslim, they say, how come the people at that time, they did not complain about the Quran? The Quran say they complain and they, they, they refuse it to the point Muhammad, he decided to kill them if they don't accept. Here we go, the verse in the front of you. Chapter 4, verse number 82. Chapter 47, verse number 24. It says, Huh? Huh? Chapter 4, verse Why they cannot consider the Quran? If it is not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradictions. Go right now to chapter 41. Go to chapter 79. Go to chapter 2 and read according to the Quran how Allah created the heaven and the earth in order. And you will find that each one of them contradict the other one. <clears throat> you just do it. I just showed you. Here we go. Kevin, he wants me to show him. I mean, I... Here we go. I will go with you. Chapter 2 in the Quran, verse number 29, it says, Allah created everything for you in the earth, and then he went to the heaven, and he made them seven heaven. So according to this verse, which one will I finish first? Kevin, According to this verse, which one Allah he finished totally first? The earth or the heaven? <clears throat> what do you think? I'm waiting for you, Kevin. According to this verse, which one Allah he created first? Finished first, let us say. The earth or the heaven?
What do you think? Hey, Kevin, if you will not answer me, I will skip you. You know, if you are playing games with me, there's no point for me to talk to you. Okay, the earth. Hmm. Be my witness, guys. Kevin, he agree. The earth finished first and the heaven. I'm not talking about which one he created first now. Which one he finished totally first. So the earth is finished first and then he went to the sky to make it, to finish it. Okay, let's go to the front verse in the Quran. <laughs> Read with me. This is chapter 79. It says here that Allah, which one is more difficult to create? You or the heaven? And then he raised it in masses. And then he made the day and the night, which means the sun, the stars. And after that, he made the earth flat. <laughs> and after that, he made water and grass and trees. And after that, he made the mountains. Is it obvious or not? You agreed that chapter 2 saying it clearly that Allah he finished everything in the earth. And it says actually the word all. He is the one who created for you all that on earth. Then he went to that sky and he made them seven. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Do you see it, Kevin? Okay. And you agreed with me that Allah he finished here, according to this verse, the earth first. Okay, then we go here, we find that uh, the opposite, Allah, he made the sky first, he raised the sky, he made the day and the night, and after that, he started working in the earth. How, how simple I can make it for you, Kevin. So, if you will say to me, I did not, Spread it not, creation, when say, for the earth. Who care about spread uh, Kevin, are you playing stupid with me? Who care if he spread it or not? We are talking about the order. We are talking about the order. In chapter 2, Allah, he finished every work he want to do in the earth. And then he went to the sky. In here, the opposite. Allah, he finished everything in the sky, which means the stars was done before he finished anything in the earth. Let me help you more. <laughs> Kevin, he's trying to play dumb. Let us go to chapter number 41. Let us see how you can escape this one. This is chapter 41. It says the following. <clears throat> which one is harder to do? You said to me, Chapter 2 is not talking about uh, uh, creating, oh, sorry, finishing. Read carefully, my friend. Do you reject the one who created the earth in two days? In two days. And then he placed, stabilized over it mountains. The translation here is not showing the word mountain, Rawasi. And then, and then, he turned to the sky. So are you saying here that not the, the earth is not finished? So Allah, he created the earth in two days. And then he established everything in two days. And then he, he gave the earth all the provisions, like grass, trees, water, everything. And you can read the interpretation for this verse. And then after that, he turned to the sky and the sky was a smoke. Do you see it? So... Which one Allah was working for first? The earth. Which one Allah, he put the mountains there first? If you don't like this translation, we can trans change it for you. Let us change the translation. <clears throat> uh, read carefully. He created the earth in two days, and then he placed therein on earth mountains standing firm, and then he, he, he blessed it with all the measures of sustenance, like water, grass, trees, etc. This is in four days. And then, until now, the sky was a smoke. Can I make it more clear that for you, Kevin, or still you did not get it? So, and when Allah, he made the stars, read carefully, and then he completed and finished the sky. 
he created them seven heavens and the last thing Allah he did he created the lamps be my witness what is the last thing the lamps guys does it say that the earth is finished everything on earth is finished then Allah he made the star made the sky seven skies and the last thing Allah he made the stars be my witness this is a chapter 41 you can read it from verse number nine or even before all the way to verse number 12 then if we go to this chapter here we will find the opposite remember in the chapter 41 the last thing Allah he made the stars the last thing Allah he made the stars okay in chapter 79 it says the opposite Allah he created the heavens and he constructed the heaven which means all the construction is done he raised it and then he created the lights the night and the day the lamps after that he started walking in the earth <laughs> Hmm. You are insult people too long. Just wait, somebody you find out. I don't know what does that mean. Any Muslim have an answer? <clears throat> Someday I will find out, my friend. Someday we will meet Allah. And Allah will say to me, you will not get the virgins. Hmm. And you will get the virgins. And you will be busy doing boom boom. I will be busy watching movies, laughing with my friends. And you are busy doing what? Boom boom. You can't stop. Good for you. <clears throat> are you there, Kevin? It's obvious. One chapter saying the last thing Allah created is the stars. The other chapter saying that the whole earth is finished after the stars. And look, it says it clearly. Make it flat. And the earth after that he spread. The word is thumma, which mean no, my friend, you see, you see, Kevin. I don't like stupid talk. You can go right now to YouTube, and there's a Muslim guy who tried to convert people to Islam. He explained to you the word thumma. Thumma is a word used in Arabic when there's a long period of time. So, Kevin, stupidity is not allowed here. Either you are decent or you are a donkey. I can play right now the video of the Muslim, and he will get you busted. Hmm? I mean, no dignity. Secondly, the word thumma is about what happened after. Do you want me to open the dictionary for you so everybody will laugh at you? Why well, you are not being decent, Kevin? Why decency is not in your... Uh, here we go. Learn Quranic Arabic. Learn Quranic Arabic. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Is this guy is working for me? This is a, he's a Muslim. He's a, he's a you know he, he he's trying to convert people to Islam. How to use the word thumma? How to use what the word thumma? Why do you people lie? Actually, he is quoting the same verse we are quoting. <laughs> Let us hear a little bit what he said. No decency. Question. It was an excellent question to ask. So, what the person has asked me is about the meaning of the particle thumma in a specific verse. And in the same context, we have also the particle thumma here in this verse, which is describing the creation of the earth, 
followed by the creation of the heavens. Do you see it? Did he say followed by? Did your Islamic teacher say followed by? And look what you just said to me, just to show everybody how stupidity works. This is my answer. The word thumma, which means in the same time, which is a lie. I challenge you to show me who in the world believe that thumma mean in the same time. You are a liar. He created the earth first, then the heaven, and after that he spread the earth. How you say in the same time, you idiot? You just said the opposite. You just said he created the earth first, then the heaven, and after that he spread the earth. <laughs> you idiot. We are not talking only about how he finished the earth. Which one Allah he finished first? It is you who said to me when we show you chapter 2, you said Allah finished the whole earth first. Secondly, the question is, which one Allah finished first, the mountains or the stars? And this is the video, you can go watch it. And he will say to you clearly there, that Thumma is used for a long period of time, not right away. Are you there, Kevin? Creation, not spread? Uh, it says he finished everything. He finished everything, not only he created everything in earth. In the other verse it says, after that he made the earth flat, and after that he put mountains, and after that he made the grass. <laughs> good a try, Kevin, good a try. I feel sorry for you. Just go, go, don't, don't, don't stay here. I have no time for kids. Take, take a hike. You have no decency. There's no point to waste your time with somebody he have no decency. Which one Allah created first? The stars or the mountains? Very simple. Which one Allah finished first? Create first? Stars or mountains? Read the verses. Here we go. Chapter 41 and chapter 79. In chapter 79, Allah, he finished the stars first. And after that, he started walking in the earth. And after that, he made the grass. And after that, he put the mountains. Wonderful. So according to chapter 79, the last thing Allah, he made is the mountains. The last thing in chapter 41 is the opposite. Allah, he made the sky in two days. Sorry, yeah, he made the sky in two days. And it was a smoke. But before he do that, he put the mountains. <laughs> In the other chapter, the mountains was the last thing to do. And when you are telling me that you are so slow, and I am going to explain to you that because you are so slow, how slow to be? Which one Allah he finished first, the mountains or the, 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 the stars? Just to make it simple for you, let's say you are a donkey. You have no idea what we are talking about. I will make it simple for you. We have two things. We have potato and tomato. Which one Allah created first? Finished first, tomato or potato? So let us say tomato is the, is the mountains. Potatoes are the stars. This verse here is saying that Allah, he created the earth. Chapter 41, verse number 9. And everything in it. He created the earth, the dirt, whatever the earth is. And then he explained after he created the earth what he did. In four days, he put the mountains. So what after creating the earth happened? Allah, he put right away the mountains. So number two is the mountains. Okay, let us stop here. Remember, number two is the mountains. Let's go here. <laughs> here, in chapter 4, 79, it says, which one is, is difficult? Allah created the heaven and he constructed. Okay. And then he raised the heaven. This is number two. And this is number three, the lights. So number three is the light. 
and after that he made the earth flat and after that he made the grass and the, and the trees and after that he put the mountains so here the last thing is the mountains there is the second thing is the mountain as they say in China he left as a donkey he never came back as a horse if this is not enough for you to see the stupidity well this is your business sorry isn't it obvious which one but just put them in order you see put them in order number one number two number three the last one in chapter 79 is created is the mountains the last thing that's it after that there's nothing read you see if we go down there's nothing that's it it's done he said it's a contradiction I blocked him already sorry too late now I blocked him because you know he, he made me uh, uh, get upset I mean you see all the effort we do I accept from the other person decency if there is no decency there's no point of conversation <clears throat> you know what I mean conversation have to happen between two decent people you call it debate you call it argument anything because if I will lie to you and you will lie to me there's no point go lie to yourself can you talk about Talmud? Talmud is a, is a book, stupid book Antichrist book what I will talk about we have nothing to do with it Talmud have nothing to do with us it's an Antichrist book full of fictions and stupidity what we have to do with the Talmud <clears throat> right so miracle you need to ask yourself why your prophet is copying you from the Talmud which is a stupid book and this is why we are laughing at you actually we are laughing at you because you are copying from Talmud Talmud is a joke <clears throat> any Muhammadan have any question anyone <clears throat> Yeah, actually, my voice is not good. Maybe I will not come in the morning tomorrow. I'm not sure. See, the problem is, I say to me and myself, I want to stop. Like, uh, uh, I should not do video right away until I find like 20,000 view for the previous video. And then I feel guilty, you know, like by the morning, I say, no, I'm going to go live. I need to stop doing that. I need to resist the temptation. I'm scared of the Talmud, you idiot. We laugh at it. <laughs> I mean, look at the stupidity. He is saying to me, "Are you scared of the Talmud? You idiot! We we laugh at it. This is the book of the devil." This is the book of the devil. Uh, you know what? I everyone know. Arnold, Arnold, please do do what whatever what you like, my friend. You are you are really funny. Why you don't post the names you gave me in Skype here in the chat? Arnold, so people will laugh. <clears throat> so, if you, if you Muslims, why you Muslims don't talk about the Talmud? Talk about it. Zul Qurnayn, the end, the flying carpet of Solomon, all this garbage is coming from the from Talmud, from the from the a legion of the Jews where Muhammad can you tell me where Muhammad he got those stories from
What do you think? Actually, I challenge you to call me and tell me about the Talmud. What do you think? And by the way, why the Quran did not mention the Talmud? As long as you mention the Talmud. What happened, miracle? Are you scared to talk about it? <clears throat> Hmm. I find it very funny when a Muslim he starts saying why you don't talk about Talmud he thinks that Talmud is our book this is showing you how, how, how much they have knowledge about what we believe he thinks that Talmud is our book that's why he's saying why you don't talk about Talmud this is how silly they are Talmud is not our book and will never be. Talmud is a stupid, literally stupid book. Even a donkey cannot believe in it. <clears throat> what do you think? Discuss 931. What about it? I mean, we don't want to like jump from all over the place. Here we are talking about contradiction. And as you see, the Quran says, if this is a book other than Allah, which means supposedly God, you will find a lot of contradiction. This is enough. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? You do not remember which one he created first? This is very simple. Which one Allah created first, the mountains or the stars? Very simple. The trees or the stars? If in one place he says he created the stars first, and the other place he says the trees first, then contradiction. <coughs> Very simple. What do you think? Solomon learned even okay. Yeah, all those stories, you can find reference for them in the books it's called The Legion of, of the Jews. The story of the ants, the story, the flying carpet, uh, flying horse, all those things. <clears throat> Any Muslim have a comment? Anyone? No comment? So the story proving to be simple. Quran cannot be from God. God will not say something. I mean, this is simple. I, I, you build a house. In one place you say you put the windows first and the different place you say the last thing is the windows. And such a mistake can be accepted if a human being is making the mistake. <clears throat> what do you think? Like if I am, a, if I, if, you know, I have books, I wrote books, right? So if I say in a book, uh, by mistake, I made a mistake, it's, I'm a human. But here we are talking about God. We are talking about God. God don't remember which one he did first. <coughs> yeah, my throat is dry, actually. Uh, I'm drinking water. But it's not working. Hmm. Is it true that Holy Spirit is Jibreel? Well, he, this is another, another story here. If you ask the Muslim, where you got that Holy Spirit is Jibreel? Where in the Quran it says Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? Nowhere. They say to you that there's a verse in the Quran says that the one who sent that down the, the scriptures is a ruh, a ruh al amin. Okay. 
How that can make it? How that can make it? Jibreel. Chapter 26, verse number 193. The hornet's spirit come down with it. Okay, but the Quran says it clearly that angels are not spirit. If you read carefully, chapter 78, verse number 38, it says, the day when the spirit and the angels will stand in ranks. So if the angels are spirit, then this wrong this, this verse is wrong. On the day when the spirit and the angels. So if the angels are spirit, then we don't say the angels and the spirits. <coughs> What do you think? Hmm? False. There is not a single place in the Quran that says that the angels are the spirit. At the same time, how you, you see how the spirit, the Jibreel, is a holy spirit. Is angels in Islam are holy? No, they are not. If you remember the story of Adam, how Adam uh, it's mentioned actually in many places in the Quran. <clears throat> if you go to chapter 2 verse number 2, uh, chapter uh, 2 verse number 34, it says, and remember when we say to the angels, prostrate yourself to Adam. Okay, if the angels are not committing sin, they are protesting to Adam for what? They commit sin. How? Read carefully. The angels accuse Adam that he would do mischievement. Allah accused the angels to say something not truthful. Read carefully. And he taught the Adam the, uh, the names of everything. And he showed them to the angels, which means showed what? The, the things. And he said to them, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. When I say to you, Tell me what it is if you are truthful. That's when I'm accusing you of what? Of lying, correct? If I say to you, he did not say to them if you are right. You see, he did not say if you are right. He said to them, if you are truthful. That's mean he is saying to them, your angels are not truthful. So how you call an angel Holy Spirit? Are you getting my point? Did I answer you? <clears throat> Obviously, the Quran is saying it clearly that angels are not truthful, and this is why he, ob he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. And then later, you Muslim, you say to me that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit, but Jibreel, he bowed down to Adam, and Allah accused him not to be truthful. Right? <clears throat> Arnold, Arnold, why you don't post the name you are talking about? Don't force me to, to block you, man. Don't be like a kid. <laughs> anyway. So he told the names to Adam of all things, and then he want to examine how truthful they are. And they failed. They said to him, you know what? Uh, sorry, you are not truthful. And they said to Allah, you know what, you know, you know, you know what we know not. And then he ordered them all to bow down to Adam. And here actually, this is a very stupid quiz of uh, uh, exam. This is a very stupid exam. Because here he's saying, I will teach Adam the names of things. If you cannot tell me the name of those things, that's mean you do not know the unseen. But how stupid you are, by teaching things, by naming things, and you claim that you have knowledge. As an example, I have a cat and I named it uh, Susu. And then I said to you, what is the name of my cat? You said to me, I do not know. Then I said to you, see, I will tell you the name of my cat and that to prove I'm God. How you can, you prove to me that you are God by knowing that the cat is, her name is Susu and you are the one who gave her the name? <clears throat> you know what I mean? You are the one 
who gave the cat the name. And then you say to me, you are God because you know the name of the cat. What do you think about this amazing? <clears throat> any Mohammedan have any comment? I mean, this is the most stupid argument ever. So now if I know the name of my cat, that's mean I'm God. Well, what kind of logic this logic is? Very weird. All right, guys, I think we have enough for today. I will try to come uh, in the morning tomorrow, but I'm not sure really I have some more to do. But as usual, you know, check out, join, uh, you know, uh, uh, subscribe to Patreon, and you will be informed as soon, because sometimes I post like before I go live, like uh, sometime even 15 minutes, you know, sometime not even like two hours or three hours. So uh, subscribe in Patreon, and you will be able to join us when we go live on here. And, uh, you know, I'm so happy to see more Muslims leaving Islam. Uh, our video is doing a really great job. And Muslim cannot refute them. No Muslim can refute. As simple as that. And I really, I appreciate those who they are downloading the videos, translating them, adding subtitle, and share them, you know, sharing them with their friends. Very good. And now we have our books trans you know, getting translated to uh, Chinese, Romanian, I mean, you name it. Soon we will have all the books translated to all languages. That's amazing. All of this is done voluntarily by wonderful people who I do not know, which is really wonderful. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And if I can go on live tomorrow, which maybe I will not take a take little break. But as I said, always I get tempted and I say to myself, I will not go tomorrow. And then I, <laughs> I do the opposite. But you, but you can tell my voice is not, is not doing good. So uh, if, I, if my voice is doing good, I will, I will go live on air and we will have a good time. And please tell your friends. Uh, you know, if you have a sheikh who want to debate me, please feel free. You are all welcome. It doesn't matter what is your size. It doesn't matter if you are big or small. If you are a big sheikh, small sheikh, you know, we welcome you. We want to show everybody that those who grow a long beard, yet they know nothing about Islam. Nothing. Period. It's a beard, but there's nothing there except lies and fleas. No knowledge. Nothing behind the beard. All right? Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.